Uh, this is the official band of the President of the United States. And it was uh, since its inception in 1917, the Marine Corps Band is based in Quantico. There's Mario Andretti, Tony, our Grand oh, Marshal, legendary Mar race what? car driver. Oh, man, what's he in? It's a great car. Thank you. Yeah, there he is. Hey, let's see. You know, he's the only one, the only man to ever win the Daytona 500, the Indy 500, and the Formula One World Championship. It's truly, an, it really is something. Yeah, let's take a look at what he's in. That is the uh, 2005 Lamborghini. You say that, Murcielago. Murcielago, Murcielago Spider. Spider. Wow. It's the. Uh, it was on the uh, in the Andretti ex exhibition last week at Grand Central Terminal. I don't know if you got a chance to go check that out. That was something. Look at that. It does over 200 miles an hour. I see right down Fifth Avenue. Wow. <laughs> let's see. Let you know, uh, he won his first race in 1955, 59. Excuse me. And yeah, let's let's learn more about Mario Andretti. Take a look at this. To be a winner in different aspects of sports, I mean, somewhere you're gonna bump into an Italian. Racing cars is, I don't know, seemed like the bug bit me even before my teens. Just captured my imagination and my brother Aldo. My idol, Alberto Ascari. That time in the 50s, he was a world champion for Ferrari. And uh, I want to be like Ascari. And that thing just stayed with us. In fact, is we're leaving Italy, the shore was getting smaller and smaller. And we're thinking, oh, gee, there they go all our dreams about uh, auto racing. And, and little did we know that the real opportunity would come to us right here in the United States. Five o'clock in the morning, we're just cruising by the Statue of Liberty. Uh, what a sight, what a sight. And uh, even as a kid, I was 15 years old, but uh, it was just, uh, there was something like, a, it seemed like a, a new world just opened up. Not knowing what it would be, but there was something colorful, something beautiful about it. I've traveled the world, and as a Italian-American, you have an American passport, but the blood doesn't change. You're still Italian. The message that we have is uh, that of pride. Here we are celebrating uh, Columbus Day, uh, and you reflect on it. You start thinking, um, I wonder how many people really realize that an Italian discovered this land. But then you go further, how many people know that America was named after another Italian, Amerigo Vespucci? Probably it takes the excuse of the event you know, to start reflecting at uh, all the contributions that uh, uh, Italians have made, you know, over the centuries. Our culture is so deep, and it just it almost touches every aspect of life. Columbus Day is, uh, is like St. Patrick's Day. Everybody seems to feel like they're Italian. To be part of that festivity creates a lot of excitement for me, and uh, as I say, I. Um, I just feel just totally privileged. Vi auguro una felice giornata commemorando il nostro Cristoforo Colombo. Beautiful. I don't know. 